can we break out even harder than we did last time? Let's find out. Hello folks, Phil Gallagher aka Thraben you here for another legacy video and today I wanted to revisit Breakout. Um, in a video that you all seem to really enjoy, I tested this card and it's honestly kind of cracked. You get to look at the top six cards of your library, reveal a creature card from among them. If it has mana value two or less, you put it onto the battlefield and it gets haste. If you didn't put it onto the battlefield this way, you put it into your hand. So this is a selection spell that grants haste at a honestly very aggressive cost. And I was impressed by this card last time around, and I want to tweak the deck that I played last time and kind of see how it feels. There aren't too many people messing around with Breakout right now, so I don't have any confidence with these numbers because I don't really have anything to base them off of. But here are kind of my thoughts. Last time around, I kind of felt some tension with Inti, so I've cut Inti from the deck list and gone up to four copies of a lot of the things that I was playing before that I was relatively happy with. From there, I thought that I might need a couple of just generic large creatures to deal damage to my opponent. I don't think I get to max out on Tarmogoyf because I'm probably only going to put like creatures and lions into the graveyard over the course of the average game, but I think having one or two in the deck list is perfectly fine. While in order to maximize breakout, I want as many creatures as possible with CMC 2 to hit so that I kind of get the most value out of my cards, I don't think I mind hitting a hasty stalactite stalker, and this is something that is just going to scale up relatively well over the course of a game, especially if I get to just like keep hitting with this and recurring wastelands and fetchlands. I may be getting a little lost in the sauce by playing one carpet of flowers, but like, I kept looking at the fourth Mox Diamond and I felt like it was sus, and I put a second Chrome Mox in the deck and I was like, I don't really have card advantage. So I have three copies of Carpet of Flowers in the 75, so that end game versus blue decks and slower control decks, like I could just pump a whole bunch into Moloch and start turning it into a can-tripping card very late in the game. I'm sort of building this deck expecting to run into more fair decks than not. I've subbed Thoughtseize that I had in the main deck for Lightning Bolt so that I'm better answer, able to answer things like Griefs and Dragon's Rage, Channeler, Delvers, that sort of stuff that are running around the metagame right now. And I think with that being said, since we've done this before, like let's go ahead and just hop right into it. Uh, folks, if you are going to be attending SCG Con Atlanta, Command Fest LA, or Command Fest Dallas, and you need some cards, consider placing the order ahead of time on toamagic.com. That's Tales of Adventure. And if you use promo code THRABENU, you will save 5% on your order. Let's break out. Hey, Phil from the future here. Number one, thank you to Taylor for giving me a dealer's choice donation deck list to make this league happen. I think I forgot to thank someone in the intro. Number two, this league is rough. I am going to warn you ahead of time. Um, I am going to take an absolute beating today. So if you enjoy watching my suffering, this league is for you. If not, there's a lot of other videos on the channel. I'm just saying. All right. My mana's not perfect here. I can't just immediately Dalthy Voidwalker. But I think I would want to break out most of the time anyway. So I think I'm just good with that. Death Shadow or Doomsday, perhaps? I cut the Surveil Land that I had in this deck. My mana requirements are relatively tight for this deck list. So if I am playing against a Death Shadow deck list, I probably want Dalthy Voidwalker, and if I'm playing against Doomsday, I probably want Breakout. I think I am just going to play a Dalthy Voidwalker. I can get breakout haste damage next turn as well. Well, we've gotten a response. Okay. So we are in all likelihood playing against Death's Shadow. I am getting dazed, uh, which is totally fine. I will be hoping to wasteland my opponent's Shockland and then follow it up with a new Voidwalker. Hopefully the board is empty when that happens. Eh. 
I only mind this if the reanimate is tied to it. So I lost my Douthy. Oh, fuck yeah. Wasteland now? I believe Wasteland now. Fauna did not float the mana. I will attempt to break out. There's Bowmasters. Yes. King my opponent here. My Bowmasters does have haste. The token obviously doesn't. Sure. That is a 3 3 shadow. I think I'm just lightning bolting that rather than risking a Moloch getting dazed. Because that would that would just be game losing levels of bad. Hopefully we don't see something like a Street Wraith cycle. Force of Will. Moloch do two damage to it. That doesn't do me any good. Um, we're chilling for right now. I think I'm going to keep this. Sometimes this is a removal spell. Eh. All right. I think I'm taking that hit. I think I'm going to continue to stay aggressive because some portion of the time I just kill my opponent with breakout. Now I'm not sure if I play around days. I think the extra point of power is pretty meaningful. I am not interested in fighting the 6-6. Six, six. Oh, that's okay. I need to find two points of damage somewhere. I'll take this hit. I'm at nine. Oh, I'm going to need a few points of damage next turn. Uh, it's possible. I need to break out into Douthy Voidwalker. I have two Douthies in my deck, three breakthroughs. I think I am jumping. Our sacrifice was not in vain. Ennis. All right, this is a chump blocker. I guess I am chump blocking. I'm just kind of in the abyss here. The hope is that I've stranded some cantrips in my opponent's hand, but that may not actually be the case. Do I have anything weird? Not really. I'm going to continue playing, but I, I, I think I am just effectively dead. Like maybe I take this hit directly in an attempt to keep a slightly better board. It seems like my opponent drew Merktide, which I am not going to beat. Yeah. All right, we sort of bottomed out there. We were real close. We were drawing live for a few turns. So how do I want to approach this? I don't know that I'm sideboarding much. I don't know that I'm sideboarding at all. Like, I don't know that I necessarily want more carpets. This deck is very low to the ground. I don't really need Thoughtseize. I have evasion creatures that can get around Death Shadow blocks. It just didn't happen in this game. Okay. So... The plan is just Menace Creature into Menace Creature. That's pretty straightforward to me. I have, like, one too many lands here, but I don't think I can complain. Uh, that's fine. I will happily Lightning Bolt that at some point. JK. I don't know. I lost uh, Voidwalker instead. That's fine. This is a fight, right? I think I would rather just Lightning Bolt that. Boom. Attack for two, scale up my threat, and then I can start looking at a Moloch next turn, which I might just be playing as a 3-3 three, three into days. We'll just kind of see how it feels. Uh, Moloch feels great as a 3-3 three, three specifically. Yup. Taiga for variety. Moloch. Uh, nice, it worked. That's very good. I get snuff outed, which means that my fight does not actually resolve. My opponent's at 10, I scale up. The worry here is that my opponent just has like double death shadow. All right, good. Mana that is not spent on the board or creatures is actively good for me. A wasteland's no big deal. I imagine my opponent is sitting here tanking about what to reanimate. But my opponent's got good blocks right now. This scales up. I kind of have to wait a turn to do something with my Stalker. But I can Wooded Foothills and scale up on my own turn. Uh, that's not what I want to see. This is the point where I really wish that I had the Surveil land that I cut. Because my mana requirements were so tough. And now we're in kind of this weird stand down that I think favors my opponent. 
Like I'm very much the beat down because they have the larger end game creatures. I don't have bowmasters to punish. Burr. That's a nice shuffle. And now like my opponent gets to scale up again, meaning that I'm in the same exact spot as last turn. All right. All wasteland, an underground sea over a watery grave because of days and call it a turn. Yeah, so this is the point where my opponent gets to top deck cantrips and I don't. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's not fine. I'll blow up my opponent's stalker. But this leaves my opponent with the onboard threat. They can they can wasteland. Um, so my opponent's hellbent. They have the creature in play. Uh, this is very favorable to them. We're going to cut them off of Merktide Regent, or otherwise cut them off of Cantrip into Threat. But it won't take long for this grief to kill me. Uh, I just need to top deck anything. Sure. After I did all of that, is it really Merktide plus land? Uh, it's Douthy Voidwalker. That's slightly better, but still pretty bad for me. All right. Stalker is not exactly great at this stage of the game. I need a breakout for haste damage. Dead to Bowmasters. Six. I'm at one. I mean, you, you've got something or you don't, right? Just send it at face. All right. Well, that was uncomfortable. Do I just need more threat density? Like, do I need to just endurance here? Just, like, go down all of these? Like, I can do something like this. Play two Pyroblasts for Merktides and something like three Endurances. I think I'm comfortable with that. I'm not the biggest fan of how Moloch lines up versus Stalactite Stalker on the draw. But I think my Wasteland hand is very good against things that aren't turn one Stalker. Like if my opponent just ponders, like I'm so happy with this start. Uh, yeah. That is just kind of how it goes. I'm just holding up a Pyroblast this turn. And I will just very aggressively fire it off at a cantrip to keep my opponent from finding a fetch land that scales up this creature. Alright, I'm at 18. That is not a cantrip that I get to Pyroblast. Oh, that's frustrating. Yep. So that scales up both of those. Alright. Go get a Bayou. I'll attempt to Moloch this one. Uh, and this is just a straight trade, assuming that it resolves. Yeah, that's called being on the draw. I think once this one scales up to four, I'm dead. Because then I don't get to Lightning Bolt and take that one out. Cool. Now we can fully just concede. What an absolutely absurd hand. Today's video is sponsored by TopDeck.gg. They're an awesome company that runs an awesome tournament series. If you would like to play for prizes such as Time Twister, check out the Top Deck Championship Series. It's run using their patented Command Tower software, which is awesome for EDH events, although you can use it for anything. Your players can scan QR codes and then get real-time standings and seamless pairings for their event. If you're looking to step up your local tournament game, check them out. All right, um, this hand is sweet. It's turn one Stalker into turn two Douthy or Breakout, as I feel is appropriate. Uh, that's fine. I lost my turn one play. I'll just wasteland my opponent and reset the game. I have more cards in hand than them, so I think I am just overall good with that exchange. Okay, so we're just doing a little draw go. I think I will play this one so that I don't immediately get wastelanded. For sure. Bail land, obviously good. Yeah, opponent probably does not want to force a will most of this stuff. They would prefer to interact with it via just individual one for one removal spells. So, sure. So, I think I am going to cast the Douthy Voidwalker this turn over the breakout. The black black of Douthy Voidwalker is the thing that's hardest to replace. And I want this to hit the first removal spell so that this can stay and presumably take over the game. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, Mox Diamond is insulting here. 
Breakout has incredibly high upside. I'm not sure that mana is a bottleneck right now. I, I think I am just going to attempt Breakout. Yeah, all right. The Bowmasters is just in play. I'll ping my opponent. Makes the Fable mode of looting significantly worse. I'll go ahead and attack on in. I have very good lines for next turn, especially if I draw a land. All right, no looting. Uh, Narset's fine. Finding a Culligan's command. All right, I did draw a land. I think we're just doing this for three. I'm taking my value. So goodbye token. Goodbye Narset. And two damage at face as well. One's at 10 when that's all said and done, which is effectively seven because I do have Lightning Bolt. But I might end up removing this. I do just also have a Moloch. Uh, Bowmaster's down. Brainstorm is probably quite good. So Culligan's Command is now online. I imagine is killing Douthy and get rid of Mox Diamond. Had some weird lag there. Uh, yaw. Yaw. Get another Bayou. Just going to play this around days. Fight the Reflection. Swing in for four. Have Lightning Bolt available for if things get weird. Um, but I like very much have Lethal on board. I think with that trigger on the stack, I will just bolt it. Snapcaster Mage. Sure. So this can put my opponent to one. Send it. Uh, this is all fine. I think I'll take that out of play. My opponent would have to be running something absolutely wild to punish this. Like Toxic Deluge doesn't do it. They'd have to be like main deck damnation. Sure. All right, good stuff. I may just have too much mana in this deck. I think I'm just gonna like cut those, change them to two carpets, play four endurances. Like, do I even? I don't think I even do that. Well, this is a bit much in the mana department. I think I'm just going to keep it anyway. We'll see what my opponent does. This is kind of the plan for this game. Everything else is secondary. Nice. So, fetch. Grab Bayou. Play a carpet. And since we're playing against Grixis, it's totally fine to just play out another one of these. We're just not expecting them to get answered. Now, every island that my opponent plays out is a lot of mana. And even if I just view this as plus two mana, like, that alone is very strong. Uh, so we're going to say no to these for the first main phase. And in first main, we're going to take out the Badlands, which is notably not an island. Fauna can float mana. Um, sure. Actually kind of annoying. They did, in theory, want that land back. Uh, yes. Make green. Yes make black. I think I'm just going to play this one out immediately. The upside of just hitting extra uh, wastelands here is potentially very high. Sure. Nice. Uh, not good yet, but will be good. We'll make a green and a black here. Start with a Bowmasters. Hang my opponent. And then drop a Tarmogoyf. Seems like my opponent has access to Force of Will. Yes, pitching a Marktide Regent. So we're hoping for any piece of gas off the top. Moloch uh, would be particularly good. Um, Fable is strong. Uh, Breakout is great. Make the mana immediately off of carpet and then cast this. Uh, haste is good. I don't think I care about killing my opponent's token. I think I like the selection here. So I'll hit my opponent. I am perfectly happy drawing a, Delth a Douthy. We'll leave that on top. Get a Verdant Catacombs. I think I'm not going to show Wasteland. Ooh, that's very important. All right, cling to Dust, another one. 
All right, so this could be my opponent's next blue mana. I am at 17, and I'm still fine drawing the Douthy. I'm fine playing that main phase one. Sure. I'll send in for one here. Opponent's at 12. I'll make the land drop. This will start being a problem in the not too distant future. So I can do some deck thinning here of marginal levels of importance, or I can keep these to scale. Another creature. Sure. I think the next turn is so important that I hit live that I make my stalkers a little bit worse to just pull some lands out of the deck. Do this. Giant Moloch would be real cool. Hey, Giant Moloch. Five. Uh, so we'll use this to eat Reflection of Kiki Jiki so it can't start copying Snapcaster Mage. That's some shit. That's the last card. Um, I am effectively dead to that, I believe. Because Snapcaster Mage with that many removal spells and cantrips and hydroblasts in the yard, I, I think means that I just can't possibly win as long as my opponent plays conservatively. Like, I can't just rip another Moloch. Sure. Yeah, so this is just Hydroblast again. Um, just so I don't have to click through this again. Um, I'll, I'll hold. And, like, maybe I draw a Lightning Bolt that kills this, and then I can Moloch. All right, my opponent is just going to play patiently. Not let that happen. Sure. At this point, I probably concede then. Uh, that's real good. We'll do green, red, attempt a breakout, which will just get hydro blasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, there's that. I am going to swing for the fences here. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll try again. I am not the biggest fan of this hand. I think I am still keeping. Like, stalker that scales from turn one is potentially quite good. Um, but my opponent's deck is essentially just a giant pile of removal. So I shouldn't really count on this going all the way. Yeah. I'm playing Moloch as a 2-2. I think I am playing Moloch as a 2-2 to remain aggressive and to continue to curve out. But I just don't know that my deck is going to line up against this. Uh, that's very, very, very good. Um, hopefully no force of will here. All right. That is very unfortunate. We essentially whiffed. Endurance goes to hand. Grab a bad lands. A lightning bolt this Strix so I can continue to attack. And bash in for my two. This is seven for a Merktide if my opponent has it. I don't. <sighs> this is frustrating. I think I just let it happen. It's almost good. I think I am just going to sorcery speed this. Nope. For sure. Uh, yeah. I want to draw something like a Bowmasters here. But in the absence of a Bowmasters, we'll do this. We'll fight the Strix. Death Touch is a thing. We'll attempt to Endurance the Graveyard. All right. Now I am just fully at the mercy of the top of my deck. That's the, uh, the initiative card. I probably just concede to that. I guess I can rip like Moloch. Yeah, I, I think this is gone at this point. Today's video is sponsored by Moxfield.com, and honestly, they're just the best at what they do. If you need to keep your deck lists online, this is the way to do it. They have all sorts of different viewing options. You can condense that text if you like things to be tight. You can make them visual grids. You can put them in stacks. You've got all sorts of different ways to kind of view and visualize your deck lists. And they also have some really cool functionality, like allowing you to see playtest hands and even fully playtest your decks. So check them out. All right, we have too much mana with this hand. I don't think I am going to keep this one. I only have two business spells. Thank you, deck. This is worse than the first hand by a lot. I'm on five cards, though. So that means I'm keeping. I kind of fucked up. Like, if I play this on turn one, 
and this gets answered, then I can't actually cast Douthy Voidwalker. I think I'm just going to keep three lands. Um, but this hand does not beat very much unless I am just literally lucky. All right. I'm just not going to leave up Lightning Bolt for this turn. I'm going to hang onto this fetch for as long as I can for stalactite stalker reasons. Are we surveilling or trolling? Oh, we're just brainstorming. That's fine. Welcome to being on the draw. It feels pretty fucking bad. Yep. All right, I lose Voidwalker. No follow-up land. Wasteland off the top, please. Breakout could do things. I am so scared of death that I will not be playing around days. I, I think I just have to put the pedal to the metal here. Yep. I do not regret it. Like, the ability to start pressuring my opponent's life total is very important. All right, they just had to reanimate. Um, I'm effectively dead to that, I believe. Uh, yeah, that stuff's good. All right. I don't beat a track, so it's in play. That's not a thing that this deck does. We'll play four copies of Endurance, two copies of Pyroblast. Um, these are going out. I just, like, have not lined those up in a meaningful way a single time in this league thus far. Go Threat Dance. Down one of these? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Is this good enough? If my opponent plays fair, this is absolutely good. And if they don't play fair, I'm basically dead. All right. End of turn, just dump a thing into Graveyard so they can reanimate it. That will get under Breakout. I'm thinking about whether or not I'm getting Taiga and bolting their face. I think I am. All right. So here's an Atraxa or an Archon or some shit. I break out. And I hope that my opponent is going for Animate Dead. That gives me another turn. Cool, cool, cool. All right, it seems like my opponent does not have Reanimate. What a draw. Uh, obviously, that is incredibly important. Wasteland Machine. More important than the extra damage, I think. Go, go, Gadget Wasteland Machine. This is not a spell that my opponent would counter. Uh, Fatal Push is fine. Uh, that's fine. Uh, sure, I'll float a random color of mana. I'll float the red mana. I get this in Darn's Dazed, I just lose the game. I don't think that I can telegraph it right now. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, Ponder's fine. I maybe need to start thinking about, like, just nuking the graveyard for Merktide-based reasons. I think that I am scared enough that I am just going to do this now. Just clear all that garbage out. And then try to drop the Wasteland Machine. The thing that sucks about this is that, like, my opponent can just use a reanimate on some of this stuff if they top deck one. Uh, yep. So, I can Moloch that. See if my opponent plays around that. Cool. Uh, so hopefully no days. Nice. So we fight, and I win that fight. Now I have four power in play. My opponent has an opportunity to animate dead that, or whatever. Fatal push instead, sure. Uh, Pyroblast is pretty darn good. It's just protection versus Merktide Regent, which is a card that I care about a lot right now. Uh, yeah. Am I going to get got for not having a green card? No, I am not. Okay, now I have the extra land. Um, Daze is, I guess, a thing. I think I am just going to cast it anyway. Like, some of what I have is just not going to beat opponent's good top decks. Hydroblast. Sure. Uh, that's not particularly strong. Opponent's at eight. All right, we are staring at each other. Oh, fantastic. So reanimate is no longer live on the big stuff. I'll fetch. I'll pick up a second red source here. Scale this up. Assume this is a surveil. I'm correct. Uh, my opponent likes it. I will absolutely just pyroblast a cantrip at this point. Uh, that's unfortunate. Yep. Trigger on the stack, though. I think I pyroblast it now. 
It does mean that another animate dead can bring it back, but I don't want my opponent to just find Force of Will blue card and then be able to protect it, and they've already shown me like Hydro Blasts. And they do find uh, the third animate dead and no counter magic, so the line that I chose gets punished. All right. And Atraxa comes back and looks at all the things. And my Stalker gets pushed, so I don't get to push Menace damage. And I believe that this game is over after this first Atraxa connection. Like, I technically have outs, but I, I don't think it's realistic for me to win through this, especially with things like Bowmasters and Grief just being able to work together and... Oh, I thought I was just going to immediately get Griefed. Oh, my opponent might just pitch cast the Grief and... Do other things with their mana. I tapped that wrong. Can't bowmaster now. Um, my heart's not in it anymore. I'm 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 dead. It just takes a while. All right. I don't like this hand here. We're gonna go ahead and mulligan this one. Uh, this one has dude into dude. We'll keep that. This needs to be a bad lands, so that I can start scaling this immediately. Yeah, so we're just playing this into Void Walker and Wastelanding whenever it is convenient and possible. Sure. That sucks for me. From Mox, uh, quite actively bad here. Sure. Oh, am I actually going to get to cast my Douthy Void Walker? Uh, no. No, I am not. Cool, deck. <laughs> Very cool. All right. Uh, sure. So in order to play the Douthy Voidwalker, I do have to do this. Which means that this is vulnerable to removal in a way that I don't really like right now. Uh, sure. It's turn four. My opponent's at 20. I assume that we have lost this game. When am I playing this? Probably just Sorcery Speed. I don't think I am trying to get this player. I think I am just trying not to give them extra draws at Force of Will. Okay, I've got a removal spell for that. That's not the end of the world. Batter Skull is more castable than Cauldra. Um, Stalker's not particularly strong right now. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I'm just going to move to the next game. So let's get this stuff out like we've been doing every round. I think I'm okay with these and this. I think I'll play a Pyroblast to round things out. All right, I have a reasonable but not optimal opening hand. I don't get to start scaling this up immediately. I don't really get to Wasteland or like start scaling this up just ASAP unless I draw another land. Perfect mana. I, I think I have to Bowmaster. Fortunately, I'll just ping my opponent and move on. All right, we've got cycling. And I imagine that I'll lose. Oh, no, I don't. Well, that's very good for me. Ping. Now life's pretty good. And on in with everything. Opponent goes to 13. I'll fetch. I need green always. Red, the secondary color. And this effectively wins me the game if it resolves. It just represents recurring wasteland. All right, we get forced. I'll wasteland the tundra anyway. And this scales up. Got five power in play. Couple removal spells for things like Stoneforge Mystic. Uh, what is this? Cards and graveyards can't be the targets of spells or abilities. Four mana can disturb. Uh, sure. Uh, let's just lightning bolt that out of the way. Get my opponent for five. The ignoble hierarch isn't doing a ton right now, but it potentially lets me Moloch for one more or play around a daze next turn or something. Uh, sure. So I think I will just Moloch around daze. It is Force of Will instead. Oh, that's okay. I can still do a Menace attack with Exalted. 
My opponent takes three. I scale this up. This is lethal, even considering some life gain. But my opponent could find a swords for this, and the game continues. So if I play Moloch, my opponent gains two and go to four. I don't really want my opponent to have something stupid, like a Snapcaster Mage, and just get a block, or like a, what is it, Doorkeeper, Thrall, or something. Uh, so let's just Moloch. Fight this. That has worked. I think I'll do this. It's like removal spell versus flash blocker. All right, cool. Uh, we'll do this if my opponent is playing a bunch of those Denrix or whatever they're called. Pull one carpet for that. Now this looks like a reasonable set of cards. Uh, my wasteland is less good than I would like, but I've got a good set of tools. It's no shuffle. Uh, that's great. Bayou? Badlands? The lightning bolt is more important than the Moloch? Now let's do Badlands. And Stalker. Alright, we're in there. This at least gives me the theoretical line of lightning bolt and wasteland next turn. Alright, that is Stoneforge. I think for curve reasons I am going for Moloch here. Let's do it. Yaw. Rough. Now I have to try to beat a batter skull, which is not a thing that I'm very good at doing. Sure. Moloch plus lightning bolt is probably what I end up doing. I'll need more colored mana for that. So I think I'm into this. Cast this, see if it resolves. It does resolve. Meaning that I'm pretty likely to wasteland meticulous archive so I can keep scaling up the stalker. 12. And then my opponent's going to make their batter skull, uh, which just represents so much life. Ugh. Um, I'm not going to lose any bodies yet, I don't think. I'll just take these hits. Uh, yikes. Now I can't remove these cleanly and Caldra. All right, we're dead. Um, I am just going to concede. And I think at this point, we just call this deck a failure. All right, so what went wrong? Because we got our asses absolutely handed to us this league. I think part of it is that, like, I drew badly. Not once in this entire league did I line up Chrome Mox or Mox Diamond with a turn one threat not a single time that feels statistically unlikely beyond that maybe those cards just shouldn't be in the deck i i think i'm playing approximately the same amount of mana as i did last time like last time i had green sun for dryad arbor and i think three mox diamonds and i took out the green suns and the dryad arbors and added those, so I, I am at less mana than last time. Admittedly, the green sun can be selection later on, but I wanted to increase my creature density so that breakout hit more often. And like we did see breakout whiffs this league, and we also saw breakout single options. So like I feel like I ran a little bad, but the deck I think just has too much mana in it. It needs a decent amount of lands because like you're trying to be this wasteland recur it with deep root wayfinder deck um but ultimately i don't think there's just like quite enough here i thought about doing a naya build and i like drafted it up with like dahlia and stoneforge as things to hit with breakout but the mana was still bad and i didn't feel like there were enough aggressive elements like i felt like the black of stalactite stalker and dalthy voidwalker was adding to the aggression of the deck which felt important didn't really miss Inti in this league. Um, but maybe Breakout just like isn't quite good enough here. I've seen a little bit of Breakout in Painter as a way to like find your Goblin Welders, Goblin Engineers, Painters, and then a couple other random things like Tarmogoyfs to round it out. Um, yeah, but this, this one was a, a failed experiment. Didn't sound so bad on paper. And then in practice, you know, we didn't have card advantage or selection, you know, Maybe we need to 
throw in some things that breakout doesn't put into play. Maybe we need some broadsides. Maybe I do need to keep green suns that breakout can't hit. Maybe I need fable of the mirror breaker. You know, there's there's options. But ultimately, we're going to delete this deck list. Uh, regardless, I hope my suffering was enjoyable. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Maybe order cards that aren't breakout from toamagic.com and use promo code ThravenU to save a little bit on your order. All right, no more breakout. See ya.